What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dewey, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is a shoe review, the Nike uh, React Element 55s. Yeah, I said that right. I thought I said it back. I thought I said Element. I mean, I thought I said it backwards. Anyway, but yeah, man, these shoes right here was an impulse buy, but not necessarily an impulse buy because I was tracking them on East Bay for a long time, waiting on them to get marked down to like 70 or $50, or something like that. And uh, East Bay didn't ever, they marked them down to like 114 or something like that. I made a video about it and uh, I just was waiting on them to get cheaper. But in the process um, <clears throat> of me going to look for the Jordan uh, Bel Airs, when I went in Foot Locker looking for those, and the people basically said no, but they, everybody can't got their shoes or whatever, uh, I seen these. And it was marked down for fifty dollars. So I was like, "Yeah, hey, I got the, I got a size eleven and a half in there." And it was like, "Yeah, I think that's eleven and a half. The display was the shoe was the last pair, and it was my size." So let's get into the thing. It's a Nike React Element Fifty Five, white, hyper pink, black. But I ain't gonna lie. When I look at these, they don't look white to me. They look like they got a little white in them, but they're not that white. But yeah, I was tracking these for over, for maybe about a year, seven, about nine to nine months to a year. And these are very dope. They have like that 80s, they got like a, like a, just an 80 swag about them. Like, like they say white, but even this part is not necessarily white to me. It's like a, I guess it's white, but it's like, like an off white or whatever. But it is a little, it is more white than anything. But this color is not the same thing as this color. It's like a light, 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 like a tannish color. Like it's more, it's more white. It's more white than tan, but it's 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 not white. You know what I'm saying? Like this, it don't match this. But anyway, let's get into the shoe review, man. You see the you see the pink, a little bit of that purple, a little bit of yellow on here. Got the black. They got like little points at like little grips. I don't know if you can see that going. You can tell these shoes is like meant for like running more. Like it's it's on the heel and on the front of the shoe. I guess it gives you that, that good support. They definitely like soft. They soft and they very vulnerable. So like if something hard, anything fall on this, you can feel your toes in these joints for sure. I mean your toes is gonna get crushed. Like this basically like paper. Like, like you put your finger in it, but it's very vulnerable. It's, it's very light. You know what I'm saying? We got purple on the front. Pink lacelets, a little bit of black, a little bit of green. In the, in the in the background, you got Nike React on the tongue. The tongue is, I feel like I can rip it with my hand. It's so thin, look how thin it is. It's like paper. This shoe is, this, you can tell this shoe is designed to be very, very light. You got purple inside with the yellow Nike logo. You got the word Nike React at the bottom of them. Got a pink Nike check on the back with a little with a black background, a yellow uh tab. Say Nike reacting yellow on this side. Not too much going on on the inner. You know what I'm saying? Got the little yellow stitching. I think that's that. I think that's cool. But yeah, I've been looking at this shoe online for the longest, and uh, I'm glad I got them. Very lit shoe. But yeah, I paid fifty dollars. I forgot the original price of them. I I, I want to say I know it was like one fourteen when I first seen them or something like. That. I mean when I seen them on East Bay and I was tracking them, but I forgot the real price, the retail price. It might probably was like one sixty, one fifty or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, these things are very cool. They light. I know these are good for cardio, but I don't think I'm gonna. I might work out in these maybe. Eventually, I'm about to wear them a few times, but these is like, I ain't gonna lie, I always, when I get shoes, I get shoes that's really 
dope to me. But um, most time when I get a pair of shoes, it's like I don't want to mess them up. The only way I use them for uh, working out purposes, going to run, cut grass, or play ball in, is if I scuff them or they get some kind of damage did to them, but they no longer look fly when you get dressed up. Like if it if it messes with me, like if it get like a stain or something that I can't get off or anything. But yeah, this is the shoe review, and um, I'm gonna always show you the other ones too while I'm in it. So all black harachas. This is the other pair I bought when I got disappointed when I couldn't get my hand on the uh on the uh Bel Air. I mean the Austin and Bel Air. Some all black harachas. You know these fly for like 110 on Nike.com. And I could always use me an all pair of black shoes. And plus I love this this design of the Harachi. I'm a Harachi head, like I love Harachi. It's like that's my I think that's my favorite shoe. I got a head over. I got the all red ones like this, the all white ones like this. I I had like I had some Harachis in high school with the scrap of frogs, like it was high top with the scrap of cross. I ordered some of those. Uh I think I did a shoe review on them. They was white, green with a little, a little green with a little pink on it, and they and they dope. I never wore those yet. I'm gonna I'm probably wear them eventually. But yeah, I got these from Ross. Ross be having some 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 heat on the low, and I got these for fifty six ninety nine. Like it. that day, man, when I took the L on uh the. The Bel Airs, I just went and looked around at different stores, trying to buy me some painkillers, basically. That's what these call painkillers. This other pair too, like, like oh, I was disappointed. That was the only pair of shoes I really, really wanted this year, and I couldn't get them, but I ended up getting them anyway. Just not in a size 12. I mean, a size 11 and a half, I got them in a 12. But yeah, man, you can't go wrong with a pair of rocks. Now these, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm a, I ain't like I'm gonna really cherish these too hard. And you can't really mess up a pair of black shoes, but I'm definitely probably gonna work out in these eventually. But I gotta wear these with an outfit before I, I turn them into some to some workout shoes. But yeah, man, you know, simple Harachi, all black. You know what I'm saying? Got the Nike Air at the bottom. Not too much, not too much going on. Blacked out Harachi logo on the, on the tongue. Black inside. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's all blacked out, but that's the shoe reviews, man. This is my painkillers. Ooh. Hey, that impossible waffle I ate, man. Uh, got me burping in here, dog. Like, go check out that. I just posted that video a few minutes ago. Go check out my latest video, you did. But yeah. This the kicks. Damn. Ain't multi today. What's going on with me? Hey, I'm kind of late to be inspecting them. I looked at them a little bit, but I ain't look at them too hard. And they didn't even give me no paper. And they didn't even give me no paper. And this, I think this was the display. I like, but what you can't really like this. It, this, this, the tip of this shoe is soft anyway, man. So you can really like sculpt that any kind of way. It ain't gonna really take the print and the shape or nothing because it's so soft, it's thin. But yeah. Impulse, man. Yeah, bro. I love these shoes, dog. I ain't gonna lie, man. Shoes, sneakers. I know some people, a lot of people say sneakers. I say shoes most of the time. I try to fit in and say sneakers. To each his own, though. I love, I love just getting shoes. Like, me, I could, I could have a pair. I mean, I could have a pair of fly sneakers on. And... And rock uh, sweatpants and a t-shirt, joggers and a t-shirt, like simple pair of jeans. Like I, I feel like the shoes. I feel like when you get fly, you got to build from the bottom up. Hey, I just peeped this out on the tongue too. It's cool. We got like a little. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Yeah, 
That's cool right there. Even though I don't think nobody, would, yeah, they could see, you know? Yeah, I think they could see it if you pop, if you pop it up good enough. Nike react on the side. It's a little fan looking. I don't know what that's for. I ain't gonna act like I do know. Duh, the more I look at this shoe, the more stuff pop out at me. Like this little hidden Nike check right here on the tip. Another one right here. But anyway, man, that's the shoe review. I hope y'all liked the video. Uh, these are my painkillers I got that I would been supposed to do a review on, but you know how, how life is, man. It's better late than never, huh? But anyway, man, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Share my video. Turn on the post notifications. We're getting to 200 subscribers. When I get to 200, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a giveaway, $50 through Cash App, as you've seen in the beginning of the video. Make sure you handle that, tell your people, and maybe you could be the winner of $50. Holla at me.